My name is Vincent Gallo. I'm an interventional radiologist. I graduated from the American University of Antigua in 2009. I graduated from fellowship approximately two years ago, in which I became an attending here at Holy Name Medical Center in Teaneck, New Jersey. I knew from a very early age that I wanted to do something in medicine. I went into undergrad originally thinking I was going to become a physical therapist. And then while doing rotations for that, I had some interactions with the physicians and I saw their leadership roles and how they were mentors uh, to the people in the hospital and that drew me to becoming a physician. I actually realized I wanted to become a doctor very late in undergrad, at the end of my junior year. I took all my pre-med courses, whatever else I needed, and I was going to apply for medical school right when I was done with my senior year. The great thing about American University of Antigua is that they accepted me without having to take a year off. It was an easy transition. They made it incredibly easy to change from a big setting within a few months, and it was seamless. Interventional radiology has, encompasses a little bit of everything in medicine, and really what I was looking for when I was looking for a specialty. We perform minimally invasive, image-guided, cutting-edge procedures to help people. And then I have the clinical interaction with the patient where I see them as outpatients, and we do consults on the floor. We have the ability to use micro nano catheters, using image guidance to provide and to target a very specific disease process without affecting the rest of the body. For example, we can treat non-surgical tumors within the liver with a small catheter directing chemotherapy or radiation directly into that area. We can treat atherosclerotic disease within the lower extremities to treat people for you know, wounds or claudication. And standard thinking was bypass big surgeries uh, where we can do this typically as an outpatient and the patient usually goes home that day or the next day. Our practice here is very clinically based. We have office hours where we see patients, meet them before their procedures. We do the procedure and then we have them follow up as an outpatient and we make sure that whatever we did to treat them is working. So today we did a procedure on a 65 year old man with history of hypertension, diabetes, who presented to me with two block claudication. So he starts to develop debilitating pain within his left calf. With small catheters, we were able to thread uh, those catheters into the arteries get beyond the area that was blocked, and then do a type of rotor rooter to try to open up that blocked vessel and then expand it with a balloon. You do some pictures with injecting some dye, and you look to see whether the occlusion is open and he has increased perfusion now to the foot, hopefully to help his pain. And he'll probably go home this afternoon. One of the things that American University of Antigua has had since I left was a dramatic change. And the campus has increased substantially, it's moved. That tells us a lot about what they try to instill in their students. So we start out very small, very young. As we go, we continue to grow and we continue to advance. And I feel that AUA has done that itself. So it not only tries to instill it in their students, but they're actually doing it themselves. So what I would tell myself when I was entering medical school is two things. Number one is patience. If you look too far ahead, you're gonna get lost. Take every day and learn from it. There's something you can get from every single day in medical school and every single day in rotations and residency. And I'm quickly learning as an attending, those things that I saw five, six years ago come still now. Number two is you have to love it. If you don't love it, it's gonna be hard for you. That's the most important thing about our rotations and residency, is to kind of weed out the things that you don't like and really pinpoint down to something that you're gonna love and you're gonna thrive in.